Hey friends, Mike McCurry here. We are in the vehicle. We're on the go. It is uh, dark outside. One of those times where we are in the world where it gets dark uh, either very early or it doesn't uh, get as bright in the morning as I would prefer. But um, this is Bible Track Echoes. Thank you so much for listening in. We have our newest employee at Bible Tracks Incorporated. Cameron Wedge is behind the camera and I'm hoping I can say that a lot more in the coming days because with a Cameron he has many talents one of which though is videography and things like that he's bringing those talents to Bible tracks and we're excited about that and we've already put him to work we've just worked him like a slave for the past couple of days for the past couple of weeks that he's been uh, he started January 2nd I think that yes, Tuesday sir. right after the first of the year and uh, as you're listening to this, depending on when your radio station airs this broadcast, I very well may be in Australia. I may be, though, in Papua New Guinea. Or I could be in New Zealand. It all depends because I'll be, for most of the rest of January, I'll be in one of those three countries. Lord willing, I'll be flying into uh, Australia here shortly, taking off for that, uh, I believe, tomorrow. And um, so depending on, again, when you listen to this, <clears throat> but what I'd like you to do is this, if you'd like to see where I'm at, if this interests you, as I said, I'll be Australia and then we'll be flying to Papua New Guinea. Um, I probably, I was just talking to a missionary's son who's been over there multiple times, one of currently the poorest countries in the world, not because they don't have natural resources, but because of corruption, honestly, because of sin, but uh, so I'll be Papua New Guinea, doing a week of camp there with about 300 New Guineans, uh, some teenagers. And then I'll be flying to New Zealand, going to see a friend of ours, Josh Swarga. You may not have heard that name before, but Lord willing, you'll become a little bit more acquainted with him. Uh, his church there, uh, he works with another a missionary over there, and uh, before he starts his own church, Lord willing, but they've put out numerous of our gospel tracks from Bible Tracks Incorporated. But I'll be doing all that, and Lord willing, coming back at the very tail end of January. I'd ask you, if you would, to pray for me. If you'd like to keep up with McCurry Family Travels, I'd like you to do this. Text the word TRAVEL to 309-316-7240. That's 309-316-7240. Zero. Just text the word travel and we won't bombard you. It may be once a month or so that we'll send you a little update. If I'm overseas, I might send you a couple more just so you can see what's going on because it's a lot of fun. But we have been busy. Now, I, I told, I advised some young people recently, don't glory in being busy. Being busy is not necessarily a badge that you wear because you can be busy about the wrong things. And I have been at times in life and you got to recalibrate, reset, focus on the right things. But I believe we've been busy about the Lord's work in the last couple of days and really week, month or so. Oftentimes, December and January are slow times for evangelists. And apparently I didn't get that memo because it has been go, go, go. Speaking of, as much as I know, she would probably prefer not to be on camera. My wife is with me and I'm very blessed to have Miss Rebecca McCurry She's Hi. leaning forward from the back seat because Brother Cameron is yes. in the front seat with me. Miss Rebecca, any other words you, you would use to describe the past few weeks besides busy? It's been crazy. It's been crazy. We've popped um, back and forth in New York twice. Um, Akron, 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 then Kansas went a little west. Kenya. <laughs> yeah, 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 we were in Kenya in December. Um, and then I'm flying out and so we'd greatly appreciate your prayers for our family my two girls Emmy and Lucy and we're so thankful for the people that make this possible of course I think of the staff at BTI I think of the families of the staff at BTI we've been asking you throughout the month of January to pray for us but uh, pray for our ministry what I'd ask you to do is this um, as you follow along in our travels and as you pray for us, realize that we know, we understand that we could not do what we do without the support of people like you. Uh, our ministry, of course, it's administered at the end of the day by God. We are just blessed to be a part of this. But God uses his people. We are, if I can use this verbiage, we are his hands and his feet in this world. We are, to a degree, his voice. Now, God does a wonderful job of speaking for himself. He really doesn't need us. 
but he allows us to work alongside him, to work for him. And as the old song says, I am happy in the service of the king. Uh, previously, this week on the broadcast, we've had the chance to interview. I've talked to some of my friends that we've worked on music projects together with. We just completed a music seminar here in Elgin, Illinois. Had a wonderful time. Many delegates. I mean, really, this was kind of, I wouldn't say last minute because we were thinking about it, talking about it. It's been something we wanted to do, but we were purposefully going for kind of a soft launch. We weren't trying to do do it up too massive right at the beginning. Honestly, we sent out the flyer about it, probably promotion about it, maybe two or three months in advance at the most. And we had so many folks, a surprising number of folks come out. Obviously, the interest level was there and the spirit, the unity has been wonderful. And uh, so we're very blessed. But I'd ask you, as we travel, I am, yes, traveling right now, uh, we have the chance to uh, to sing together with some of the folks, and the choir will be singing for the local church here, and we're looking forward to that this evening. But what I'd ask you to do is, as I'm traveling, maybe keep up with our travels. Again, you just text that word TRAVEL to 309-316-7240. But while you do that, pray for us. My desire when I'm praying for something is to pray intelligently. I think of uh, a friend of our family, uh, a friend that we will labor together with at a football camp, the summer camp that my wife and I actually met at back in the day. But I think of a friend of mine, his father, uh, is dealing with uh, some cancer. And it won't go into uh, um, excruciating detail, but uh, it's some very difficult times for him, his family, of course, his health. And they, I just saw an update that was posted, and that helps me to pray more intelligently. Absolutely, can God fill in the details? Yes, because he knows everything. He's omnipotent, he's all-powerful, but he's also not omniscient. That means he knows everything. And so, yes, he knows all the details, and so don't feel like you have to have all of the grisly details to be able to pray for our family and all of that. But I do believe, for me personally, it helps tug on my heart just a little bit more when I pray intelligently. And so I challenge you about that. But before we go too much further, I would love to hear from you. So often, I, I don't think I've done this for a few weeks, maybe a few months actually, I like to hear from you. I'd love to know where you're listening from. I want to know what radio station you listen on. If you listen on podcasts, I want to know that. If you watch on YouTube, if you can see me, it's a little dark right now, but thankfully there's enough cars around reflecting a light and whatnot. You should be able to see me, but I want to know where you're listening from, how you listen to this broadcast, because this is a, it's a listening family. We have the chance to communicate. It used to be back in the day, if you wanted to communicate with a, a radio personality, if it were, were, if you want to call it that, uh, you'd have to send them a letter or something along those lines. Well, today, we it's as simple as sending an email or even sending a text. You can actually text me directly. That phone number I gave you, I'll give it to you one more time, because this will make the fourth time, okay? Think about it. I want you. I want to hear from you. Text me at 309-316-7240. Zero. I'd love to hear from you because that helps me pray intelligently. It also helps me prepare and, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, honestly visualize a little bit. What I've realized is when I'm speaking on the radio, and I've said this before, but when I'm speaking on the radio, to a degree, I have to bring all of the energy. What I mean is there's not necessarily an audience. Well, today my wife's in the back seat and Cameron's over here videoing, of course, and, and getting the audio. But normally I'm just talking to a microphone, talking to a camera, and I have to bring, if you will, all the energy because there's no one to feed back from, from the audience. Well, when I know that there are people listening in Phoenix, Arizona, and there are so many of you listening in Phoenix, when I think about all the dear folks listening in Wisconsin, West Virginia, a few folks scattered across South Dakota even, and then really across the rest of America, many, many states, and even the rest of the world. I think of the, uh, the, lighthouse, the, the, the lighthouse in the Caribbean, uh, the radio uh, station there. I think of, let's see here, in Liberia. I was just reminded uh, we play there in the wee hours of the morning, and all, all across the world people listen to this program, and I'd love to hear from you. That just helps me think 
I can think of names, I can think of faces even, and uh, that's just a blessing to me. We've got just a few more moments left of the radio broadcast. I want to end with this thought. We've been talking about music for the majority of this week. As I said, uh, just not long ago, we had the chance to record with some friends of mine. We cut 20 songs in about three days, but they were very full days. You see, we started about 7 o'clock in the morning most of those days. Tuesday was just a little later start because not everyone was in town yet. But the rest of the days, we started about 7, 7.30. We ended at about 10.30, 11, 11.30 at night. Very full days. And Lord blessed, we got 20 songs done. And uh, we're looking forward to how those turn out. We're hoping to release them maybe around August or so. But I'm going to encourage you, if you would, to have good music playing. Maybe you need some recommendations. Maybe you don't have any good music in your home. Maybe you need uh, a little... Sometimes we all need a little kick in the seat of the pants about good music because oftentimes, you know as well as I, that there's a lot of music we listen to that, if I can use a biblical word, is very fleshly. It, uh, it feeds the old man. It's not something that helps our spiritual nature. And so I'd encourage you, this is not the sole purpose of Bible Tracks. It's just something we get to do a little bit. Uh, really, if you have questions about why would a Bible Tracks ministry be putting out music? Well, I think that question I'd refer to our founder, Dr. Paul Levine. For 60 years, he crisscrossed America and uh, preached in so many places. But for over, I think, 40 of those years, he took with him, uh, the Lord knit their hearts, and they worked together, blind Bob Finley, and they would do music together. Not just Brother Finley, but they would do it together. And they released, during their time, 10 or 12 albums of the two of them singing together, uh, playing a guitar, mandolin. There might have been a little uh, dobro or steel guitar, which, funny enough, Brother Cameron actually plays some of those things. And maybe you'll be able to hear some of those. Maybe we can do a Paul Levine vintage album. Maybe we can do our best to mimic him from back in the day. But he felt that music was so important. And uh, I'd encourage you to consider important as well. But let's not sign off this week without encouraging you to use gospel tracks. I'm driving right now, or I'd pull out my tracked wallet and show you. It's chock full. I filled it up before I left BTI. I'm planning on taking some with me to Australia. We're looking forward to what God's going to do. Let me encourage you, use gospel tracks. Miss Becca, you want to say howdy and goodbye to the radio folks before we sign off? Um. Hello, and thank you for keeping us in your prayers. Greatly appreciate that. And as always, my prayer is that you have a great day for His glory. My name is Mike McCurry, my wife Rebecca back there, Cameron behind the camera today. This has been Bible Track Echoes. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. God bless.